Good morning. Good to study God's word with you today. Today, looking at Galatians 5, verses 1 through 6. It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then, and do not let yourselves be burned again by a yoke of slavery. Mark my words, I, Paul, tell you that if you let yourselves be circumcised, Christ will be of no value to you at all. Again, I declare to every man who lets himself be circumcised that he is obligated to obey the whole law. You who are trying to be justified by law have been alienated from Christ. You have fallen away from grace. But by faith we eagerly await through the Spirit the righteousness for which we hope. For in Christ Jesus neither circumcision nor uncircumcision has any value. The only thing that counts is faith, expressing itself through love. Uh, so here in the, in the church there's the issue of circumcision or not. And the, the true issue at hand is that this was a work, a work that God had told the males to do in the Old Testament law. Um, but what had become the problem was that the emphasis was on doing the work itself. It lost the meaning of why God had put it in place. And now what the, the issue was here was works righteousness. That this was something that was being taught that you had to be done. And it was a way in which you were earning favor with God. And that's why Paul says, no, no, no. It's not about uncircumcision or circumcision. It's about faith. It's about the works of, of Christ. Because here the emphasis was being put on, on man, on mankind. And Paul is pointing them back to the works of Christ. And it's very easy for us to slip into that thought process, isn't it? You know, any yeah, we're so trained in this world that, you know, whatever um, you get, you have to earn. You have to work to earn money for, for food. And um, nothing in life is free. And there's always a cost. And um, it can be very easy then for us to slip into that in our faith life, to think that I have to earn favor with God. But um, God is very clear. No, he has completed all the work of salvation for us. And then in faith, we are called to, to live lives of service to him and uh, live lives of trust in him. And so the work is done. Freedom doesn't come from ourselves and the work that we have to do. And what a comfort that is to know that our salvation is already complete and we are in God's hands. Uh, what great comfort that gives us as we go about our day today. No more work to be done. Um, but all our work is complete in Christ. In that, there's true freedom. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for the freedom that you have given to us, uh, the freedom in you, because you have uh, completed all the work for us. The work of salvation is complete uh, through your, your Son and our Savior, Christ. We uh, trust him, we follow him, and may you uh, give us the strength to live a life that glorifies you today and every day. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. God's blessings on your day.